welcome to my channel my name is Hina if you are new here thank you so much for subscribing today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys how I organized my under the sink cabinet that is a really tricky cabinet to organize as you all know that there are pipes obviously running underneath that cabinet because your sink is right on top so it is really important to kind of work around that space and in order to work around that space you definitely have to measure and in this video I'm going to share with you guys some ideas, some tips on how to get that area to be more functional for you and more pretty if you want it to look pretty because obviously when you open your cupboard if it looks pretty it kind of makes you feel good or at least I feel that way. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys different ways you can go about it so you can either go a very budget friendly way and you can go to the dollar store and grab all your organization from there or organization material from there or you can check out Amazon you have lots of great options and also you can look around your house to see if you have anything that can be useful for that area. So what I'm going to be doing is doing a combination of everything. I've purchased some new organizers, I'm using pre-existing organizers, and my main thing I bought from Amazon, I will show you guys in the video later on, that's going to be like my main little space that I will be storing most of my products. So I cannot wait to share with you guys how that turns out. If you are interested in these kinds of videos, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching. So I'm gonna do a quick tidy in the kitchen as soon as I have my tea because I've been trying to have this tea since 10 p.m. So we're gonna do a quick tidy up and then we're gonna get straight into organizing. All right, so if you have been watching my previous videos, you guys already know the drill. The first thing I do is start to empty my countertops. I pack away any food that needs to be put into Tupperware containers. I put that in the fridge. I bring all the pots and pans closer to the sink. I try to get rid of as much as I could on top of the countertops so that I can just begin with the dishes and then wiping down the counters. Raise your hands if you feel like that the garbage is just never ending in your house. I feel like we go through so many garbage bags and we're always trying to stay within the limit. We have like a limit of three bags and our garbage goes out bi-weekly. So we really try to keep that in mind, but sometimes it's so hard to control that. So I basically emptied the garbage and I'm just gonna be uh, wiping down my sink and then shortly I'm gonna just like tidy up around the house really quick, nothing too fancy right now. So I'm going to be using this sponge, it's called the Scrub Daddy and I purchased this maybe just about a month ago and I really like it. At first I was having a hard time getting used to the shape of it because it's pretty big um, but I'm kind of used to it now and basically if you keep it in warm water it's more softer and then if you put it under cold water it becomes really hard so that's where you use that to scrub down like the really stubborn messes on your pots and pans. So here you see me just wiping down my counters and over here for the first time I actually used the holiday edition for the Mrs. Myers cleaning sprays. It's my first time switching over. Usually I stick to like Method or Lysol, but every time I go to the grocery store, I try to pick up like a new cleaner if I need it, just so I can see, you know, what really works. And then I'm going into my living room. There's not much of a mess, but I'm just fixing everything up here. And then we're gonna start to organize the kitchen. All right guys, so here is the current situation. I did a quick cleanup, so I don't know why I waited so long, but um, everything is clean now. This is gonna help me lay out all my materials out on the counter if I need to. I have some dishes drying over here. And for the longest time, I've had these things piling up. So these are like multiple different organization thingies that I have from the dollar store. These are also from the dollar store. These are gonna be part of my um, pantry. And then I have this, I actually bought a gold spray paint. As you guys know, I am obsessed with gold and I think I'm gonna do a little fun DIY just for fun, honestly. It's gonna be something really simple. A lot of my spice jars are the same. Um, these are from Dollarama. 
And now I bought these to store like my lentils and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be changing this to gold and I'm gonna spray paint it. So hopefully that'll give a little small transformation in my space. And other than that, yes, I'm like collecting all these things. Our basement is being made, so I don't have much space to work with right now. So this is currently the dining table situation. Things are just plopped on, but this is because I'm working on so many different projects. So we're gonna carry on. Okay, so this is what my cabinet looks like right now. And basically the only organization really that was happening in here was these two Lazy Susans that I had. Originally they were purchased for something else, but they didn't fit. So this was the only other place I could fit it in. Anyways, things were just getting knocked over way too many times and it was just not functional at all. So I kind of stopped caring and then all my like brushes and stuff, I didn't really have a place for it. So this did not work. I'm gonna go ahead and empty this cupboard out. I'm gonna spray it down with an antibacterial cleaner. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of seconds and then I'm just gonna wipe it down. Because we keep our compost bin underneath over here, it does get quite dirty. Like sometimes you'll see like a lot of crumbs or like spills and you can't really help with that because when somebody's like emptying their plate, you'll definitely get some food residue. So to make this look a little bit more pretty, I'm gonna just measure up. I had the shelf liner sitting in my cupboards from a very long time. I'm gonna use them around my house slowly. I have like a couple of rolls. So I just put like one piece at the front and these two pieces were left over and I think it'll work because it's going to be covered anyways. So that is the two tiered organizer that I was talking about. It is from Amazon. I'm going to store my mostly used products in there. And then this organizer is by The Home Edit by iDesign. It is a very popular company for acrylic organizers. They are on the more pricier end, but because this is a space that is going to always like have to be functional, I don't mind spending a little bit more money on there. If it was cheaper, I definitely would have bought two because they are stackable, but I think I can make do with one. So I am placing one of the Lazy Susans back into that corner to place like the products that I don't use as often. And then I found this clear canister once again from Canadian Tire. It is also by the Home Edit and it's supposed to be a pasta jar, but I'm going to be using it for my dish pods. That's something I use every day so I feel like I needed like a nice large clear container to hold all of those and then I'm just gonna be starting to place all the products where I feel like it would best suit my needs you can alter this to your own liking whatever you want to place in you know whatever spot so you know the more harsher detergents that I use for deep cleaning I'm storing them all the way back there on the lazy susan and then the everyday cleaners I'm placing in the two-tiered organizer So as you can see, when you're organizing a space, you're not going to get it right the first time. You do have to play around a little bit. There's going to be trial and error. Sometimes you'll buy organizers that don't fit. That's why the first thing I mentioned was to make sure you measure your cabinet. That way, when you go shopping, you will know exactly what kind of organizers to buy. I'm just placing all my dishwashing pods inside. I don't know why I bothered to stack them. Clearly, you can see I got tired of that and I just dumped it all in. It was so much more faster and it looks literally like just perfectly fine. Now I'm gonna go in and place all my tools, so like the scrubbing brushes and anything like that underneath in that organizer that you see on the left side. And I'm just rolling up my washcloths, my microfiber cloths, my sponges, and placing them in this clear organizer. Um, a lot of my cloths are in the laundry right now, so there's barely much in here. Um, I'm gonna see how I'm gonna roll them up to fit that space. I might even have to use the two-tiered organizer to place some of the sponges and maybe keep this organizer just for cloths. So I also picked up another scrub daddy sponge. This one is a little different. One side is softer and the other side is harder. Whereas the one I'm using right now kind of uh, changes according to the temperature of the water. All right, so the last thing I had to place in this cabinet was the compost bin. I really wish this compost bin had like another spot in my house. As you guys know, I have like the pull out garbage and recycling bins. And I really wish that I mentioned to the builder to create like a little smaller insert 
for the compost that way we would have like free space over here but that's okay i'm actually on the hunt to see if i can find something more pretty a like white colored compost bin Here is the final look everybody. I love how it all turned out. I feel like the shelf liner also made this area look very neat. The two-tiered organizer has saved so much space in here. Everything is visible. I don't need to reach back for any products. I know exactly where everything is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this video gave you guys some inspiration and ideas on how to transform your space. If you decide to organize your stuff, please don't forget to tag me in it. I hope to see you guys in my next video. There will be lots of organizational videos coming out, so please stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys take care, and we'll see you next time.